So I hear a lot about um, women who don't want to submit to their husbands. Uh, submission's kind of a dirty word. Or, oh, I'll submit to my husband. I have no problem with that. As long as he is worthy of respect, as long as he's following God's way. Um, the problem with that thinking is that, one, it's not in the Bible. It doesn't say, uh, wives only submit to your husband if they're sub if he's submitting to me. Um, wives only submit to your husbands if he's doing his job well. It also doesn't say husbands only love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for his bride, only if she's submitting to me. Uh, it's not... It's not hinging on uh, how the other person's acting. You're only responsible for your own behavior, regardless of what the other person's doing. Um, so my husband says that it's easier to lead me. It's easier to love me. <laughs> um, it's easier to, to lead his family when I am supporting him well. Um, when I'm, I guess, submitting to him well. Um, and the only, okay, with submission means that somebody, somebody else has the authority, right? Um, you're submitting to their authority. Authority is empty unless somebody's submitting to it. Um, so even, so my husband's authority is ordained by God, but it's powerless unless I'm submitting to it. Um, and that is what makes a marriage work well, um, that's the way God set it up. He set it up. No. Kaylee, stop picking your nose. Um, he set it up this way because that's how it's going to um, go best for us. Kaylee, get your hand out of your nose. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, let's turn the tables a little bit. Um, so if, if I'm the man, I am told to lead my family, uh, but I have a wife who's not submitting to me. Um, it's going to make it hard to lead the family well, because I am running into resistance every step of the way. I have, I'm supposed to be leading someone who obviously doesn't trust my judgment. I'm supposed to be leading someone who doesn't respect me. Um, that would suck. That would make it really hard. How am I supposed to, um, have harmony with this person, uh, who's fighting me? Um, instead that's, I think that's why, okay. So I think uh, it's hard for women to naturally submit. I think it's easier for us to love sacrificially. That's why the Bible doesn't say, uh, wives love your husbands as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her because we, yeah. we do that more naturally. Not always. Um, this is a generalization of course. Um, but I think that comes more naturally to us than submitting. Um, and husbands, I think, think that it might be more natural for you to submit to your wives. And that's why the Bible had to say, um, love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself I'm up for her, not submit to your wives. Does that make sense? I mean, we're supposed to submit to each other, right? That's the verse right before that in Ephesians. Um, okay. So back to the, it's easier. Um, it's easier to lead your family well when the wife is submitting to your authority. Um, Kaylee, I love you. Can you just a little quiet for a minute longer, okay? <laughs> what a face. <laughs> um, okay, and then so for, I know it, it like builds on top of each other in a good way, though, in a positive way. Um, I am respecting my husband. I am submitting to his authority. He then feels empowered to lead his family well, right? Um, and in doing so, he proves to me that he is trustworthy. He proves to me that he's worthy of respect. Um, and so then it's easier for me to submit to him. It's easier for me to trust him and respect him. So uh, you have to give each other the chance. And one of you has to be the bigger person and do it first. You cannot wait until they are worthy of your respect or worthy of your trust or submission or love. Um, you have to just, you know, cowboy up and do it. Um, lay your, lay yourself down. This is dying to yourself. Um, that is the opposite of selfish. That is the opposite of self-centered. Um, it's, it's not easy and it might not always be simple, but it's the way that things are supposed to be because God knew that this is how it works the best. Um, so when we fail to do that, when we are so wrapped up in, um, our rights or, um, 
I don't know, being true to ourselves or whatever, we're kind of missing the bigger picture that marriage is like a working model of Christ and his church. So wives, you're to be submitting to your husband like you would to the Lord. If you're only submitting to the Lord up to a point, then that's how you're going to be submitting to your husbands. Husband, not plural, hopefully. Um, it's, I don't know, go, go do a study on this on your own. Don't just hear somebody else like me talk about it. Like seriously, look at scripture and ask for the grace to, um, to not let it get sullied by your own opinions or your own, wait a minute. It was, I don't know, in this context for this people, because of this reason, don't, don't do that. Scripture is the living word of God. It is relevant all of scripture is relevant to all the people for all sorts of things. All right. I don't, I don't know the scripture that goes with that. Like, I don't know, teaching, rebuking, whatever. Um, so do a study on submission, uh, on your own and what that really means. I'm, I'm not talking about spiritual abuse here. I'm not talking about lording that over the wives at all. Um, my husband and I, we're an awesome team, uh, <laughs> because we adhere to the way that God arranged for marriage to be not perfectly because we're still fallen creatures. We're totally still sinners. Um, but we try, you know, uh, okay. So I guess that's all I got for now, but, um, I want to hear your thoughts on this too. I know submission is kind of a, kind of a hot topic. It probably will always be that, um, until a better understanding of submission is understood or whatever. Um, so leave me your comments. Uh, let me know your your experiences. Um, and I, I want to make the make a there is a difference between um, lording authority over someone. Uh, that is spiritual abuse, and that is not okay. And if that's been your experience with submission, I am sorry. And there's healing from that. I pray that God would redeem that word for you. Um, okay. I want to hear about that too. If that's your story, send me a message or something. Um, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to hear your story because it's important. Um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe God will use that conversation to bring some healing into your life. Um, anyway, uh, hit me up. Uh, message me, whatever. Comment. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.